In 2016, astronomers release astonishing evidence of a missing ninth planet on the frozen edges of our solar system, 100 billion miles from the sun. Until our telescopes find it, we can only guess what this mysterious Planet Nine is like. But the first option is perhaps the most surprising. Planet Nine could be made from rock, just like the Earth, but 10 times more massive, a so-called rocky super-Earth. Planetary geologist Jamie Radabaugh imagines Planet Nine as a dramatic world of fire and ice. These black mountains and lava flows were created by leftover heat from the Earth's formation spilling out onto the surface. Planet Nine, born with so much more insulating rock, should have even more of this leftover heat trapped inside it. What we're talking about is a body that's maybe 10 times the mass of the Earth. I'd expect, because it's so large, that we should have lots more internal heat. And so even though it's far away in the solar system, it's far away from the sun, it's still got lots of its own energy. Touching down on the surface of Planet Nine, you'd find a world as inhospitable as you could imagine. Billions of miles from the sun, the surface is lit by little more than the twinkle of distant stars and the red glow of intense geological activity on the surface. We can imagine if we were on a, a super rocky Earth, Planet Nine, we could have a landscape just like this one. There should be volcanoes erupting all the time. And the other thing we should see is, is lots and lots of ice and snow blanketing the landscape. And this is because the atmosphere is so cold that parts of it have condensed and settled back down onto the surface. You're going to have volcanoes, you're going to have canyons, you're going to have plate tectonics, mountain building. All of these processes are still going to be going on out there in what we normally would think of as the frozen, cold, and dead world of the outer solar system. As hot lava reaches the surface, it freezes suddenly in the cold of space, perhaps forming a weird volcanic glass called obsidian, another feature shared with the sub-zero volcanoes of Iceland. Okay, let's put this whole thing together. We have, we have a landscape that's kind of dimly lit by starlight, but maybe also by the reddish glow from, from erupting lavas uh, spreading across the landscape. And then behind you, you have gases that are changing immediately to snow and falling as snow down to the surface. And it would just be a beautiful, magical landscape.